hi guys so um, welcome to this tutorial we are going to go through ArcGIS desktop in a series of lessons so we expected to learn a catalog geodatabase georeferencing and so i'll go through um, all the steps and explain them fully uh, i had promised you earlier that this will be the lessons that i will show you and here they are so let's start with app catalog okay so um when you have your app catalog open um you'll notice that you have some information on the side here the catalog tree so you'll go directly to folder connections and app catalog basically is connected to app map and uh, we can connect our folders or our data through um a catalog to ArcMap and this will help us to create a geodatabase instead of um, dragging and dropping or importing all of the data from different folders in the desktop. Um, this is an this is important where it where for example you have saved your data in the desktop and then when once you delete it or you change its location um, the map you had created will lose its data so uh, creating a geodatabase will help since the data will be stored somewhere um, where you can always retrieve it and where you cannot change the destination of the folder so let's get started so um we'll go directly to this section here then just click connect to folder and now here you'll choose um the type of data that you want to have on ArcMap so you mine is in desktop and it's practical so I have two types of data sets there is the raster data and the vector data and now the raster data is in terms of grid cells whereas the vector data is in terms of point lines and polygons so I have a blog about the whole of this tutorial and I'll link it in the description box below so um we can click on the raster data and also the raster data then click on ok yeah so as you can see on the right on your right on this other side we have the contents that are in the in the file in the folder and there are three types of files there are two jpegs and one tiff file so um, raster data is stored in either jpeg or tiff format for this case so uh, if you want to preview the type this type of data you just go to the preview section and you select what you want to preview maybe it's this 122 ongo bit then you click on preview and this is um this is basically a, 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 a topographic map of the Ongobit area and um, you can check on the description also. This contains all of the information, additional information about the, the map. Then you can also check on the bands by double clicking one and checking on additional information that it carries. Okay. So um, we can also connect our vector data so go back to connect to folder and do the same process again so it's in practical it's vector then yeah so for our vector data you'll notice that um, there is the dot shp extension so this means that um, our data is stored in in shapefile format and i can just open for you um the data in maybe this pc so that you can see how it looks like it's in desktop mm -hmm. so the vector data as you can see um for example the abstraction the whole of this um it's the whole of a shapefile that carries the abstractions data and there are some simple extensions that have to be there for it to qualify as a complete shape file. So there is SHP, there is SBX, SBN, PRG, 
PRJ, DBF, and CPG, yeah. So um, the one that you have seen is SHP, yeah. So you can close that up. So each of them has those five five files, yeah, with different extend with different extensions, yeah. So uh, we can also preview, for example, the abstraction. We can preview it. And as you can see, um, these abstractions seem to be points. Yeah, they appear to be dots. Then the rivers, the river appears to be um type of line features. Then the soil is a polygon, and the subcatchment boundary is also a polygon. Yeah. So um, that's it for for a catalog. Yeah. The rest you can explore on your own, yeah, if you are curious to know more. Okay, so that's it. Thank you guys for listening and for watching. Next, we'll look at ArcMap Arc, Arc and how we can retrieve the data that is in Arc, Arc Catalog and bring it to ArcMap. So thanks guys and goodbye.